Today I'm going to share a new travel bag for you, especially if you commute to work or if you like carrying a backpack but want to look chic with your travel bag, this is a must see video. The last one I showed you was about their tote bag, but Minky Blue has come out with a brand new backpack called the Amber Backpack. Let's get into all of the organization features of this new backpack for travel. Sometimes backpack straps that are padded make you really hot and they are too thick and they weigh too much. These are perfect. I love this fabric on the outside and it's easy to wash or wipe down if it does have a stain while you're traveling. The trolley strap is nice and wide so it's not like you're trying to finagle a really thin piece of fabric over your suitcase handles while you're walking through the airport. I also appreciate the attention to detail when a brand is creating something for people that are going to be using this bag but value the investment the bag is for them. She could have just put a canvas strap right here, but there is the attention to detailing with the threading and the vegan leather that she uses, which I think updates and elevates this look for a chic traveler. See how sleek the fabric is? I mean, it is just beautiful. And then on the back entrance is where she has now these loop entrance. The inside fabric is her famous minky blue fabric. And then she has this signature bag that she created within this bag. It is insulated for bringing food. A lot of flight attendants love the minky blue bag because of this feature. One travel hack for packing in this instead of food is to pack in it like a pack cube. Pack clothes in this little lunch box or storage container and then those clothes are not packed in your carry-on suitcase. When you look into the bag from the top you just see the top half of the backpack but if you unzip the back pocket you will see that I really packed a pair of winter boots under that shelf that zipped up right there. She also includes a shoe bag. I would use it as a dirty laundry bag if that helps you. And one travel tip is remember you do not have to pack your shoes together. You can pack one shoe in here and one shoe in a free newspaper bag in your suitcase. Mid-flight or if you're using it to commute or as a work bag, you can get to your essentials without going all the way to the bottom. But one thing that I do, I unzip this flap and that way I have use for the entire backpack for travel, making more space for all of my essentials. One brilliant update for this bag is that there is a 13 inch capacity laptop pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of your backpack, even if you have the center flap zipped up. She does have the removable key fob holder, which is a safety concern for me. I love having that in my bag. Another organization update is she's added more pockets on the inside of this backpack. There is a zipper and two loose ones. And if you can gauge the size reference, I have a little packet of Kleenexes that fit inside the loose pockets. The inside zippered pocket may be where you want to store your passport for security, but when you are walking through the TSA line, my tip is to have a bag with a pocket where you can put your ID or your passport or your phone that is easily accessible in the airport security line. After the security line, you can then put your ID, your wallet, or your passport inside a protected, more secure pocket wherever you want to hide it. But this is another addition to her bag that I love. It's easy to unzip. It's easy to zip back closed. That's one of my tips is to check the zipper quality. But it is the entire pocket that you have to store your passport or other essentials for the airport security line. I also like this other addition and that is only one handle. You do not really need two handles to be honest when you're in the airplane especially and sometimes if I forget one of my travel essentials on the airplane and I need to reach down before the seatbelt sign has come off and I'm going to follow all the rules that the crew tells me, I can reach down and just grab that one strap that is uh, sticking out. So you have the front pocket, then you've got the back entrance pocket that is hidden, and then there's another update for a water bottle pocket. You reach toward the front of the backpack and then it pops out to hold your water bottle. One travel hack is to pack something of value in there and then store it inside the pocket 
while you're traveling. Here is the coolest addition, I think. Let's say you're walking through the airport and want to get a coffee. Pulling your backpack off of one shoulder, it can be just tricky. So this designer calls this a backpack necklace, which I think is such a great travel hack. This little bitty purse that's big enough for a cell phone it will attach to the backpack strap little buckles and that goes to the front of your body so when you're in the airport it keeps just your thin rfid wallet inside there along with your phone maybe a kleenex or your id if that's all you need it will drape in front of your body while your backpack is on your shoulders so that you can still be hands free and then unhook it and then attach this chain link strap to have as your crossbody bag. She does still have that gorgeous gold hardware, but she has made them loops, which I think are easier to use. They're more feminine, they're dainty looking, but they are high quality zippers, which are so important for travel and rugged bags that still look chic and beautiful. And this is called Plum. It's more of a garnet color. I want to give you a closer look of the quality of the zippers and the threading throughout this backpack. The thread color is the exact same color as the vegan leather, which elevates your travel outfit look. If you do not pack any essentials for your trip underneath that shelf halfway through the bag, the designer does not want you to keep it zipped. That shelf is not designed to support all of your travel essentials without added support underneath it. Okay, I think this might be my favorite feature and that is the gold footing on the bottom of the bag. That is fantastic hardware for a bag. It is so chic and beautiful and elevated. This is a top notch, no pun intended, loop, uh, which is almost silky feeling, but it is just fabric. It's beautiful. And then on the inside, you'll notice the attention to detail to have that same plum color with the zipper there. If you need to pack medicines to stay cold, I think this is such a valuable bag. And then if you need a medicine video, I will have one in the iCards and in the description box below. To find in this bag and any other links you need or some helpful videos, I will have them in that description box, which is the paragraph right above my travel shirt. Just click show more. Or if you're watching me on your phone, it's like an upside down carrot shape. Uh, anyway, let me know if you have any questions about this bag. I highly recommend it, but it is an investment piece that will elevate your travel look and still hold all your essentials. The amber backpack also comes in a taupe color as well as a black. I wanted to show you this color so you can really see the detailing of all of her features. This amber backpack is available on minkyblue.com, but now you can find her other bags in Macy's as well. Let me know if you see your bags there. If you have any other questions, just leave us a comment. Thank you for watching.